This film was taken on a state game farm where the animals were not afraid of people. The events of the story were not planned. They just happened. You are going to see several wild animals. First, of course, is the badger. He gets into trouble. Next, a mother skunk. She causes trouble for the badger. Then you will see raccoon babies and find out why they climb this tree. Next will be a pheasant hen who won't leave her nest. Then some rabbit babies who have a narrow escape. This is a ground squirrel who is quite daring. These are woodchucks who may be very brave. This is a sleepy opossum who is awakened by the badger and a coyote. Like most animals who hunt, the coyote tracks other smaller animals for food. He uses his keen nose in hunting even more than he uses his eyes or ears. So does the fox. The fox is a very clever hunter who has a keen sense of smell. So does the badger. He uses his nose to follow the trail of smaller animals he catches to eat. This young badger doesn't look fierce, and he doesn't look like he can run fast, but he can. And he is a fierce fighter, and one of the best diggers. He can dig out ground squirrels and gophers and other animals that live underground. This small animal is almost never hunted by a badger or any other hunting animal. Do you know why he's so safe? The skunk has scent glands that make the most terrible smelling liquid. The skunk can shoot the liquid out over an animal that attacks him. The smell from the liquid clings to the animal's fur and stays in his nose, so he can't smell anything else for a long time. This badger is hunting in an area where skunks are. In fact, he is near a hollow log, which is a mother skunk's home for her family and she senses the badger is nearby. She nervously tries to get her family into the hollow log. This badger must not know about skunks. You know what the mother skunk does. The smell is awful. Here comes the father skunk to see what's wrong. Away goes the badger smelling like a skunk. The odor drifts over to some young raccoons nearby. Watch what happens as they smell it. The badger hears them. One of them would make a good meal for the badger. but the badger tries to find them by sniffing. He can hear them as they climb. They make a lot of noise. But even when he's right at the bottom of the tree, the badger can't smell the raccoon way up at the top, where they climb to get away from the skunk smell, the raccoons are safe. The badger, smelling like a skunk, must have his nose full of skunk odor. Do you think the raccoons think he is a skunk? See how the badger keeps trying to use his nose. 
she is very close to a pheasant on her nest. Do you see her? The badger doesn't. She's colored like the grass. This makes her very hard to see. As the badger can't smell her, he doesn't know she is there, even when he is right next to her. She sits quietly and is safe. Now the badger is hunting near the rabbit's nest. It is beneath the grass. The baby bunnies are nervous. If he keeps rooting around, he will find them. Can they get away? There goes one. The baby rabbits scatter in all directions. The badger tries to follow using his nose, but he just blunders along. In another field, he sees a ground squirrel. Ground squirrels are very fast, but a badger can catch them, digging them out of the ground. After her goes the badger. He must be getting very hungry and angry. Look, there's the ground squirrel. She came up from another hole over there. Just watch the badger dig. He must be hungry. There comes the ground squirrel. But the badger doesn't hear her. When she is close, see her sniff? She wants to know what animal it is. She's gone, but the badger doesn't know it. Just then, the coyote comes near. The badger must have heard him. Coyotes are one of the few animals a badger doesn't want a thing to do with. But the coyote doesn't chase the badger. See what he does? The skunk odor from the badger's fur must bother the coyote. Watch. He's leaving. A few minutes later, a pair of woodchucks find the badger's hole. Woodchucks are quite lazy. And these two, apparently, are going to use the badger's hole as a home. Now, what's that? It's the badger. Woodchucks are no match for a badger. But the woodchucks don't seem afraid. The badger seems to be trying to get close enough to sniff them. Isn't he sure what these animals are? Maybe he thinks they're skunks. Look at that. Don't they know he's a badger? Why, the badger is trying to bury the woodchucks. He must think they are skunks and is trying this way to get rid of them. But the woodchucks won't be buried. And it looks like the badger is giving up. Not being able to trust his sense of smell makes him very unsure of himself. And if the woodchucks weren't fooled by the skunk odor on his coat, maybe they wouldn't have been so brave. Listen to the badger grumble. He disturbs an opossum in the tree. The badger's nose must be clearing, for he seems to smell the opossum. She watches as the badger follows her tracks, right to the foot of the tree. 
He can't climb up to get her. He must be mighty hungry by this time and really feeling awful. You can almost imagine his stomach is growling. The opossum is safe. It's too much. It's just too much. You can almost hear the badger say, I've had enough. It's just too bad a day. And it is a bad day when a wild animal can't trust his sense of smell. Now as the badger's nose finishes clearing, he will be able to hunt again. You know the lesson he learned, don't you? Thank you.